class. I am Mariam Siddiqui and I am your instructor. Well, there is a big difference between reading SQL and solving their queries. And to overcome this difference, today we will solve some amazing SQL questions in this video. So let us solve the real world queries with the help of SQL. Now solving such questions is very very important for our career because interviewers they ask us similar questions in interviews. It is said that practice makes men perfect. So we too will become experts by practicing SQL questions. But how do we practice SQL? Is there any particular website where we will get SQL queries with the help of which we can practice SQL? Well, you guys do not have to worry at all because I have already done everything. Now, there is a famous website named hackerrank.com where we can practice SQL. And not only this, here we get the queries of SQL in three categories easy, medium and difficult. So we can practice these queries on our own. I know some of you do not know anything about HackerRank. So first, let me give you a short introduction to HackerRank. So HackerRank is a platform for software developers because with the help of this platform, we can practice any programming language like Python, PHP, C++, Java, SQL, JavaScript, and can also build our portfolio. And you know what? Some top MNCs and startups, they have also started using HackerRank as a hiring platform. It means that if we have solved a lot of queries or problems and our ranking got really very good, then companies will want us to get hired in their company. So let us start our journey. To practice on HackerRank, first of all, we need to create an account on HackerRank. Now remember, we have to sign in as a developer. After signing in, we have to come to the practice section. Coming to the practice section, we can see a lot of skill tracks over here. And out of all the skill tracks, we will choose SQL track. After selecting the aggregate track, you will see a lot of queries here. Let us select the first problem. Once we select this problem, we will land on a new page. And on this page, we will get the complete details of this problem so that we can easily solve this problem. Now, let us read the problem statement. Query the name field for all US cities in the city table with a population greater than 1,20,000. The country code for America is USA. So here we have to find out the cities of America where the population is more than 1.2 lakhs. Let us also take a look at the database. Now we can see five columns in this table. ID, name, country code, district and population. We are also given the data type of these five columns. Now this is a very simple problem and I'm sure that you would like to try this on your own. So pause this video and make your own solution. Well, I really hope that you have been able to solve this problem. In any case, let me tell you the solution. If you still have any kind of doubt in this problem, then do not worry at all. We will teach you the solution of this problem in a detailed and step-by-step -step manner so that you can become an SQL star. We have to output the name column. So we have selected the name field here. After that, from and then the table name. Table name is city. So we have mentioned it in the from city table. And after that, we will mention the two conditions. The first condition is American cities. So only for American cities, we specify the country code USA, which has been given in the problem statement. And the second condition is that the population should be more than 1.2 lakhs. So we will mention that also and both the conditions will be separated from the AND operator. AND operator will make sure that both the conditions are satisfied. So our complete SQL query is now ready. Let us see if this query is correct or not. We have to submit our code and HackerRank will tell us whether our query is correct or not. So let us submit the code. 
Well, the compiler message is success. It means that our query is absolutely correct. So we have solved our very first query. As we keep solving SQL questions, our confidence will also increase. So keep practicing. Let us go ahead and solve the next problem. The problem statement is, query a list of city names from station for cities that have an even ID number. Print the results in any order, but exclude duplicates from the answer. The station table details have also been given to us. Station table has five columns, ID, city, state, lat n long w and also given is the data type of each column lat n means northern latitude and long w means western longitude we have to extract the names of cities whose id is an even number from the station table in the problem but we have to take care that there are no duplicates in the output. That is, we have to extract only unique city names which have even IDs. So try to solve this by pausing the video. I know you will be able to do it easily. So I hope you have been able to solve the problem. If you still have any doubt, then that doubt will be cleared now. Let us see what the query of this problem will be and then you can match it with your answer. If we want to extract the city column, then we will specify the city in the select statement and specify table name in from clause and then use where clause to specify the condition. We only want those city names which have an even ID. So we use ID percent 2 equal to 0. Here the percent sign will result in the remainder when id is divided by 2 and for being an even number the remainder must be 0. So our query is ready but wait is this query complete? What do you guys think? Are we forgetting something? Yes please read the problem statement yet again. It mentions that we do not want duplicates but for that we have not changed the query at all. To avoid duplicates in the output, we will use the distinct keyword in the select statement to extract only unique city names. And now our query is ready. Let us run it and see if it is correct. And congratulations, our query is absolutely correct. Well done. So we have solved another SQL query. Now let us go ahead and continue our practice. The problem statement is, Query the list of city names from station that do not end with vowels. Your results cannot contain duplicates. And we are also given the description of the station table. So try to solve this problem by pausing the video. I know you will be able to do it. Well, I hope you have been successful at solving the problem. If you still have any doubts, then those doubts will be cleared right now. Let us see what the query of this problem will be and then you can match it with your answer. We have to extract the city name, so we write the city in the select statement. And yes, we do not want duplicate values, so we will use a distinct keyword before the city and then specify the table name in the from clause. And then we will specify the condition. If the last character is not a vowel, then we will extract the name of that city or else we will not. So now the question is how to access only the last character of a city name. So let me tell you that for this we are going to use the write function. Write function it returns the f characters from the right side of the string. The first argument of the write function will be string which is the city here and in the second argument we will enter the value of the number of characters that we want and as here in this case we want the last character only so we will write one so by just this query we will get the last character of the city name now we have to see whether this last character is a vowel or not 
according to the problem statement, your last character must not be a vowel. So we will use the not in operator and then specify all the vowels inside the brackets. And now our query is absolutely ready. Let us run it and see if this last question is correct or not. And yes, our query is again absolutely right. Very good. If you have solved this question correctly by yourself, then you are doing really very well. Please keep it up. Keep practicing like this. Let me tell you the problem can be solved in yet another way. But you have to do it yourself. And the hint is, we can also use the substring function instead of the right function. Now try solving it on your own. We would like everyone to solve this query on their own with the help of a substring function. I hope you understood all these queries properly and do not have any more confusions or doubts. So stay safe and keep learning until we meet next. Bye.